Preparing for a major counter-offensive from Russia. Ukraine has secured a series of pledges of new weapons aid from the West to help this Kiev launch a major counter-offensive, amid Russia's attempts to regain it. Initiative in the 49th week of the war. Analysts have suspected that Russian President Vladimir Putin is planning a major counter-offensive, and evidence suggests that happened this past week. Spokesman of the Eastern Ukrainian Forces Serhii Cherevati said on January 31 that 42 battles have been fought within 15 kilometers of Bakhmut in the Donetsk region. Ukraine is facing increasingly fierce battles on the front. The eastern battlefield, where the Russian regular army was pouring new strength into the fronts held by mercenaries from the Wagner Group, launching new attacks and gradually gaining ground. The Russian army was launched a new battle in Vuledar, a town about 30 kilometers southwest of the Russian-controlled city of Donetsk, on January 27. The Ukrainian forces had organized their defenses, but geolocation images showed that Russia had captured the village of Mykolsky on the southeastern outskirts of Vuledar. And Russia continued to attack quickly, launching 55 cruise missiles on air and sea, and 24 drones entered Ukraine on January 26. Ukraine's air defenses are said to have shot down 47 missiles and all of the drones. However, a day later, three people were killed and 14 were injured when Russian S-300 missiles continued to hit the town of Kostyantinivka in the Donetsk region. On February 1, the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine wrote in an operational update posted on Facebook that Russia was carrying out reconnaissance missions and preparing to continue attacks on the ground. Certain axes. Despite the losses, the Russian forces managed to advance further along the Lyman, Bakhmut, Avdivka and Novopavlivka axes, the General Staff wrote in the update. Lyman, Bakhmut, Avdivka and Novopavlivka are all cities or villages located in Donetsk, an area that Russia has announced to be annexed along with three other regions. The Institute for the Study of War, ISW, has previously assessed that Russia is fighting planning a new attack, reiterated his prediction in his latest campaign review Jan. Ukrainian officials continue to support the ISW's assessment that an imminent Russian attack in the coming months is the most likely course of action, MLCOA, and further suggest that Ukrainian forces plan to move forward. Launch a bigger counter-offensive, wrote the ISW. The institute cites an interview with the Secretary of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine Oleksiy Danilov that Sky News published on January 31, in which the Kiev official said that Russia is preparing for a «maximum escalation» in the coming months. Mr. Danilov did not rule out the possibility that Russia could step up its offensive in the next two to three weeks, right on the one-year anniversary of the war that broke out on February 24, 2022. After the attack on Kostyantinivka, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky continued to call for long-range weapons from the West. In particular, Ukraine needs long-range missiles to eliminate the possibility of the occupier placing their missile launchers somewhere far from the front lines and thereby destroying Ukrainian cities, Zelensky said. As a response, two U.S. defense officials told Reuters news agency that the upcoming $2 billion military aid package could include some of the long-range weapons that Ukraine is asking for. U.S. Transportation Command said 60 Bradley armored vehicles promised last month had been delivered to Ukraine, and posted photos on social media showing them being loaded on board in Charleston, South Carolina, U.S. The United States is reportedly increasing its artillery production sixfold, to levels not seen since the Korean War to replenish its stockpile sent to Ukraine and build stockpiles for future conflicts. Future. As reported by the New York Times, the U.S. Army purchased 14,400 artillery shells per month through September 2022, when that number tripled, and in January 2023, the number doubled again. Is 90,000. The situation of Western aid seems to be more urgent than ever, especially after speculation about Moscow's counterattack plan. Ukraine's general staff said France and Australia are cooperating on the production of 155mm artillery shells for the country's artillery. Ukraine's foreign ministry said that German defense manufacturer Rheinmetall was preparing to ramp up production of tanks and artillery to meet Ukraine's needs. However, some of Ukraine's allies are still drawing clear lines on air power. Austria and Hungary last week joined the US and Germany in refusing to commit to supplying Ukraine with F-16 fighter jets. And Washington has not yet approved the supply to Kiev of the Army Tactical Missile System, ATACMS, with a range of 300 kilometers that the country craves. In this regard, Russia on February 1 warned about the supply of missiles. Long range for Ukraine would directly increase the level of escalation. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said Russia would take additional steps if Ukraine obtained those missiles, stressing that such aid would not change Moscow's resolve. NATO's Ministry of Military and Intelligence Infrastructure is working against Russia, 
including satellite and aviation groups operating 24-7 for the benefit of Ukraine, Peskov said in a statement. A press conference February 1, such actions create, especially hostile, conditions that cannot be ignored by Russia. Returning to the opinion of the ISW Institute, the Ukrainian counterattacks are said to be largely depends on Western arms transfers. The ISW believes that, if Ukraine is not prepared to launch an attack in the winter, the wet weather of the spring could force the country to wait until early summer to do so, thereby allowing Russia one even more territory.